The worst terrorist attack in American soil took place 15 years ago on September 11, 2001. Americans gathered at the site of the 9-11 memorial and newly constructed Freedom Towers to commemorate the victims and the families of those who were affected. More than 3,000 innocent lives were lost that day. For the past six years, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA has been actively carrying out its award-winning nationwide Muslims for Life campaign. It aims to honor the victims of the 9-11 attacks by spreading the message of true Islam, emphasizing the sanctity of all human life. This year at the Capitol Hill Blood Drive, Congresswoman Jackie Speer came out in strong support of the community's efforts. And I have in the past had the great privilege of being uh, one of those, on one of those cots over there, um, having blood drawn because I find it such a, a symbolic and powerful message that the Amadeic community is providing uh, to all of us. The American Red Cross was also deeply appreciated. It's an amazing thing to see people come out and pay tribute um, in such a way to those that lost their lives during the attacks and that those that rose up to serve. We've had many donors come out. We have more donors come out this one than any of the past six drives so far. We're up to 45, 44 were scheduled and we've probably had about 20 walk-ins. It's an amazing output. As we come to the end of the summer, the summer is a down point for us. It's when our numbers often are the lowest with blood donations, when the highest demand. So being able to close out the summer with such a positive blood drive coming from the Muslims for Life blood drive is a wonderful thing and we absolutely appreciate all that they're doing to help us. In the past six years, the campaign has collected more than 40,000 pints of blood, helping save more than 120,000 lives. Various donors and others who came out to support the Muslims for Life blood drive spoke highly about the need to come together and help save lives. I, I used to help run the blood drive at my high school, and I fully support any organization like the Muslims for Life um, when they want to hold a blood drive, especially in honor of something like 9-11. I try to donate blood uh, when I can. It's uh, really a small gesture, very small individual cost, and uh, extremely important for the community. I'm here at the uh, wonderful uh, Rayburn Building in Washington, D.C., and it's been an absolute pleasure to uh, witness and observe the Amadiya Blood Drive. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in D.C. I appreciate the noble efforts on this beautiful day, and I look forward to learning more. Thank you. The current political climate is um, not representative of a majority of Americans, and that it's been, by the media, it's been um, that kind of face of America has been pushed out there for a lot of the world to see, and that's not reflective of our values as a country and a nation. And um, it's, I don't think there's something that Muslims need to necessarily do more of because it's not their responsibility to deflect discrimination because it's not an issue that they should be having to deal with just for their religious identity. It's something that, um, education all around, and I mean, that's an, that's an answer to a lot of problems. Like the Capitol Hill blood drive, there were many similar blood drives held throughout the country at various colleges and universities, along with community centers. Members also participated in some of the many local 9-11 ceremonies. The efforts of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA will go on over the next several weeks as they continue to ask fellow Americans to come out and donate. Sanya Ahmed, MTA News, USA.